guys, Frozen Girl here, and welcome back. Okay, so this is a, my first, I wouldn't say my first makeup video, it's really not, but my makeup video. I'm sorry, I keep looking over because I have a mirror behind my camera, so I'm trying to see if the camera blurs in and out because my t camera tends to do that, it's annoying. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a makeup look for you guys. Um, I got some new stuff from Sephora, sorry, I keep looking over, I'm just making sure this is recording properly. Um, I got some stuff from Sephora, and uh, I'll show you guys right now. So, uh, let me get my stuff ready. So this isn't really a tutorial of any sort, actually. It's honestly just a makeup video. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm going to be talking about stuff, or if I'm just going to tell you guys what I'm doing so far, because I just got some updates for you guys. Okay, so anyway. So I ordered from Sephora a couple days ago, and I got the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder right here, um, and it's in the color Coffee, right here. My camera will behave, behave, okay, it's, okay, good thing I have this mirror. And um, I've never used setting powder before, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I never used any fat or oh I know I've never used any setting powder before. That's what I mean to say. Never used any setting powder before, so we're gonna try. Um, yeah. Um, I also got um, a foundation by Fenty, and I already have this foundation, but I needed to rebuy it. And these things, like this, is the first one I had, and they're I love this. I love her brand. I love it. I just don't like, I mean, I like the packaging, don't get me wrong, I think the packaging is beautiful. It's just that it's hard to know when it's running out because it's opaque and it's matte. So you can't even see through and be like, hmm, is this almost empty? And then <laughs> you know when a thing starts, stops pumping. And I still need to get a new primer, but it's expensive. So yeah, I got that. Um, I'm going to set this down somewhere. And that was pretty much all I bought. And then on Sephora, when you order online, you can get something free. And so that's why I ordered it from Sephora, not the Fenty website, because there was no sale going on or anything. And so, yeah, I wanted free stuff. <laughs> and I got this Coco Bling, um, what do you call this, uh, highlighter. It, I just swatched it on my hand. I'm going to swatch it again. I'm, I might not use it, guys, to be honest, because it's just not my shade. Here, let me just swatch it on my hand for y'all. Here, that's not a good swatch. Let me just... Like, you know what I mean? Well, that's not good either. But you know what I mean. It's like, it's just... It's too light for me. It's like ice. That's what it, that's what it looks like. It's called Coco Bling, but it's like, it's like ice. And I'm... No, I'm not... It doesn't work for my shade. Um, I might swatch it at the end. Because I'm going to film a few more videos after this. And I don't want this one out and be distracting. So, yeah. Um, also, I made a... <laughs> I was struggle and I made a, a highlighter myself. Um, I just... I, did, I took away some... Or I cut up some eyeshadows that I'm not using and I've never used or anything. Or have no plans on using, at least. And I... Put it in a container, mixed it up, crushed it up, and then I put in um, isopropyl alcohol. Oh, I put it back. Isopropyl alcohol, 70%. And then I stuffed it in this container, used a paper towel to like smash it, and then blah. So this is what it looked like on my finger. And then I'm going to swatch it on my hand. And I always wanted like a bronzy highlighter. And so I kind of made my own. But anyway, uh, it's, so I might use this. It says not to use it for another like 24 hours because it, it does smell like alpha pro, isopropyl alcohol, um, if I said that right. So maybe I'll just, no, well, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I don't really know. I think I'll just use it anyway. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. So um, I don't really know what palette I'm going to be using. I didn't think that far. Um, I, I should, maybe I should just, ooh, ooh, sorry. Maybe I should use my Fenty Moroccan Spice Palette. Because, 
because uh, most of what I'm wearing is Fenty. Oh, and another thing I should tell you guys. This isn't what I got from Sephora or anything. But I did get some eyebrow uh, stuff by uh, LA Girl. It's in the color soft black. And um, as you guys know, as I said in my other makeup video, I don't do my eyebrows, okay? Because I look like I came straight out of Minecraft, okay? So, yeah. Um, I only did my eyebrows a couple times for the first time. And I suck at it, okay? So, I'm going to try it again for the sake of the video so I can learn. So, you guys, can, I'm documenting my journey through YouTube. And so, I'm sorry if my eyebrows look really bad. That's all I gotta say. Okay, so this is, like I said, this is more of a learning experience than it is a tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoy watching me take L's. Okay, I don't know, whatever. Okay, <laughs> that was so cringy. Okay, so I'm gonna go in my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna fluff these out. That's all I can pretty much get. This is too dim for me. Sorry if the lighting is like really bright. I just need this, this lighting because I cannot see. I need all of this. Um, oh, that's the Wish app. I oh, speaking of, ooh, that's bright. Speaking of Wish, I got a um eyeshadow palette on the way, so um I will be reviewing that. Now I heard not to trust Wish when it comes to makeup, but. My thing is, if it has good reviews, and a lot of people, uh, you know, bought it, then I think it's fine to use. I mean, to be honest. And then I'm just kind of like brushed them out a bit so they kind of look natural. Um, yeah, that looks good. Do they look decent, guys? Do they look decent? They look bushy. They look even worse than my natural eyebrows. They look worse, but concealer will help me out. The thing about makeup is that whatever you do to one side, do it for the other. They're twins. Your face must be symmetrical because you're fixing it. Doing makeup is hard, bro. I mean, I'm good with eyeshadow, but... I ain't good with this one. Eyebrows is not my forte. I don't know who told y'all I was a pro at eyebrows. I'm not. But... Nothing goes wrong. <laughs> oh, what a center. This is too thin in this one. I'm gonna go. You see, this is the same thing that happens with eyeliner. Okay, uh, where is it thin? It's in the front. These are two different shapes, bro. <laughs> I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. Because this one is too thin. But this was too arched. It might... It... Oh! <laughs> oh, Lord. What did I do? Um... Uh... Uh... I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's 
So, let's blend that. Oh, no. I'm getting concealer in my eyebrows. I'm going to have no eyebrows. But I'm just going to take this brush right here. And I'm just going to pull it down. And this is what I'm going to look crazy, okay? And I apologize. I really do apologize. I'm going to look crazy. But the reason why I'm bringing it down, busting it down, Tatiana. If, I promise I will never say that again. I'm bringing it down because I'm going to use this to prime my eyes. And why waste more concealer when you can just use this? But anyway, life. Anyway, I graduated on the 2nd. So, yeah. I'm really happy to be done with high school. I'm going to college now. Uh, I start. This is too thick. I mean, this is too thin. I start in. This is too thin. Y'all, this is too thin. I don't like my eyebrows thin. I'm sorry, I keep interrupting myself because I'm just in. I'm just weirded out. Um. What was I gonna say? Totally lost thought of what I was gonna say. Um, so yeah, I'm starting university in the fall. Um, and yeah, kind of excited. It's kind of weird to think, but I'm excited. Um, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting myself. I don't feel, I don't, I'm not feeling these brows right now, though. I'm not feeling them. I'm not feeling them. I feel like a laughing stock right now. Like, guys, just know that this is like my third time trying doing my eyebrows, so. And this is not a tutorial. This is really just. I don't even know. Let me just continue. Um, I've had my eyebrows worse. And they were actually permanently worse. For, well, not permanently, they were temporarily worse until they grew back. So yeah, my eyebrows have been in worse condition. So I'll post a picture on the screen. That was from like 8th grade. Um, I went to the beauty shop and the lady cut my eyebrows way too short. Or way too thin. And uh, it, I looked like a whole different person. It was struggling times. Okay, but anyway... I'm gonna get into what I was saying. So yeah, I'm starting university in the fall. I'm really excited as, as a freshman. And the cool thing is my best, ooh, sorry. My best friend is um, gonna be my roommate. And I, I really think she's gonna see this video. I really do think she's gonna see this video. Um, <laughs> she's gonna laugh at my, no, she won't laugh at my eyebrows. She won't. She's gonna be encouraging about it, but. <laughs> Please don't laugh, girl. I, please, please. Because <laughs> this, this is cringe. I don't know why I'm bringing this down here. Like, I'm not concealing anything on my nose right now. Okay, um. So, yeah, we're going to be roommates. And they, and were, they roommates. were roommates. Okay. Oh, my God, they were roommates. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. Uh. Yeah. Oh. I am not feeling these eyebrows, guys. <laughs> this looks awful oh my god this looks awful okay oh, I thought I okay so i'm gonna go in with a, a a flat brush i got this from mary Kay, and i'm just gonna pat this down near my eye so just to make sure there's enough concealer in my eye so i can do the cut cream Guys, I apologize for my bad eyebrows. I please don't dislike this video because my eyebrows suck. Okay, I'm getting, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get better soon. I'll get better when I get better. Okay, please don't judge this video based on how bad my eyebrows are. Please, I, I hope my eyeshadow look will make up for my lack of knowledge in eyebrows. Okay. Okay. I feel like a laughing stock. This is too thin, bro. This is some thin eyebrows. These look like this thing's the pen. This thing is thicker than my eyebrows. <sighs> okay, whatever. We're just gonna. We're, it's too late now, okay? And I'm not redoing my eyebrow, okay? So anyway, back to life. Uh, before I get back into life, let me tell you guys 
um, about this palette. Um, I'm going to be using the Fenty Moroccan Spice Palette. Here it is. It's not new. I had it for a while. Um, I've done some really nice designs with this palette. I actually really like it. It's kind of hard for me because I'm so used to, to working with purples and pinks. I mean, purples and golds. And, you know, let's... Should I, should I try something blue? And that's something I'm terrible at, blue. I suck at blues and greens. Suck at it. I really do. I really do suck at that. Because it's just... They're just not easy colors for me to work with. And I don't really feel confident in doing blue right now. Because my eyebrows are really disappointing. <laughs> and I don't want to look dumb. So I'm going to step outside my comfort zone and uh, do some blue eyebrow or do some blue eyeshadow. And I just really don't feel confident, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so I'm going in with this red shade right here. I always love using this. Um, so I'm just putting this up above here. I'm trying to dust that away from the thing from the screen and so I'm just kind of placing it on and sweeping place and sweep place and sweep um like that and that's pretty much it like that's what I'm gonna be doing so anyway with life um also after graduating I uh what else did I do? After I graduated, maybe a week later, I got my driver's license. So now I'm a licensed driver, and I'm really happy. Um. So yeah, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice being able to drive places. Um. Yeah. Ooh. I love this red. It's really nice to work with. I'm just going to do the same for the other side. I think I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. I never really use it. And I don't know how that's going to work. I'm pretty sure that's just going to make it my skin tone. Because it's close to my skin tone. And I'm just going to place it underneath that red. So. I'm just going to put it here. Just to darken it up a bit. It's, it's kind of close to, ooh, Ugh, got that in my eye, okay. So I'm just going to dust it out a bit, just to darken it up so it's not like red-blue. Okay, my eyebrows that I just did are ugly, and I'm proud. My eyebrows are ugly, and I'm proud. Okay, anyway, back to my life. Um, so I was talking about the driving test, right? Um, I was, I took my driving test in a driving course. Sometimes you can go and take yours, you go to the DMV, that's where you go to take your driving test if you're wondering. Um, you go to the DMV and you schedule an appointment. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to go back in that with that red again. Let me just clear off my brush a bit. Um, you go to the DMV. You schedule your appointment, you must have your permit, and you must have your log sheet. In most states, uh, I don't really know what it is in different states, but in the state I live in, you have to have a log sheet. And you have to have between 40 to 50 hours, depending if you meet the requirements, okay, for 40 hours. You have, to, you have to have your parents show up to this thing for driving school, I don't know, in order to do the 40-hour thing. But it's usually 50, 50 hours. So I'm just going to go on with that red again, and I'm just going to... go above it a bit just to blend it. Ooh. I should be doing summer shades. But anyway, um, yeah, and then you schedule your appointment. And my advice is, I wish someone told me this before, uh, schedule your appointment ahead of time. Even if you're not ready right now. Even if you feel you're not ready for your taking your driving test, schedule appointment now. Okay, because it might take a few months for your appointment to even come. So, yeah, I wish someone told me that. Okay, I'm working with this. I'm working with this. That way I'm actually kind of cool with it. 
Okay. And so yeah, so you keep practicing and practicing. You practice parking. Front. They test you where I live. They test you for front and back parking. Okay. Um. Before I continue with that story, I'm gonna go in with uh. Hmm. I'm gonna go in with this dark blue right here. This one right there and I'm just gonna place it on the eye like right here so this is more like a shimmer is this a shimmer not really it's more it's a matte shimmer if that makes sense um I never do dark makeup like this I never do okay Ooh, wrong color I never do dark makeup but I wanted to match my outfit. Um, so I'm just gonna place it up here, like about right here. Okay, so you practice. They test you on uh front. Uh, no, no, no. They don't test you in front parking. They test you in back back end parking. I look like I'm gonna darken this. I mean, I'm gonna lighten this up soon. It's okay. Uh, they test you on front parking. And reverse parking, 90 degree parking. And yeah, and you don't want to hit the cone, obviously. If you hit the cone, your test is over. They let you know that. Um, and yeah. And so when I went in, I went in, was it last week? Either two weeks ago or last week. I think it was two weeks ago. Um, I'm going to go light, light handed. Oh, this is too, this is way too dark for me. I, like I said, I don't wear dark makeup, but it's good to try new things, okay? So I'm just going to blend it up here a bit. So it's not so harsh. I look better in bright makeup than I do dark makeup. Um, so I'm going to do the same on this side. So, anyway, um, at the DMV... Yeah, so on the day of your appointment, you want to show up early. You want to show up on time. Well, well, not I wouldn't show up on time. I showed up like show up like maybe ten minutes before. But for me, I was not patient, so I tried walk-ins, and sometimes they won't let you do a walk-in because they might be short staff. Because I know I tried like three walk-ins, and they'll be like they would turn me down because. Oh, we're short-staffed. Oh, we're this. Oh, it's holiday, so no. So, yeah. So I scheduled myself an appointment. Maybe back in... Uh, March. Sorry, I didn't realize my camera was messy. Um, I scheduled an appointment back in March. And my, my appointment was supposed to be in, um, this is too dark for me. My appointment was supposed to be in what you call it, uh, end of July, July 26th, I think. That was supposed to be my appointment, and I was like, no, because then that means I won't be driving by myself the whole summer. I need to like get my license today. So, what's the nice? The nice thing about doing walk-ins is that. If they are not short staff today, if they have extra staff and people are not showing their for their appointments that day, uh, then you can do your test. And so that's what I did. So I showed up last two two weeks ago, Tuesdays. And I walked up. I'm trying to find my brush. Here it is. Um, hold on, let me clean it off a bit. This one's not good by elf it's old I've had it for like the beginning of time i'm not really feeling this eye look it's too dark for me but whatever so but i'm trying to go with a, a blue theme right now so i'm gonna go in with this blue right here it's a really nice blue i actually really like it i just never use it. i don't have a purpose for it i think i used it like twice but and it, look how pigmented it is it's really pigmented Hold on, this brush is like, it's so old, it's like going down. But anyway, so I think I'm going to pop it in the middle. Yeah, like that. Just to give it.
give it a little bit of shine. Like that. So I walked in. And when you guys do walk-ins, I recommend that you go at 7 o'clock in the morning. Or when your DMV opens. Usually that's when they open around 7. 6.30, 7, 8. I don't know. Around there. In fact, I'm just going to go in and put it in that middle too. Like right here. Yeah. As if I'm doing a cut crease, but I'm not doing a cut crease. Because it's going to be too bright. Now, I'm going to go in with my bunny brush. And I'm going to go in with that red again. Just to establish some light. Just to bring some life to my eyes again. Because this is too... This is too dark. Like that. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with the brown shade again, this one, and just going to go over that, over that red, just so it's not like fire truck red, the same on this side, there. So I'm going to go in with this white shade right here. I never really had a purpose for this this gray shade. I don't really use the colors like that. So I'm debating on whether I'm going to use it for inner corner or for... You know what? I like doing that inner shine right... I mean, this shine right here. I don't know if it's compatible with this, but we we'll try. It's not really compatible right there, but... You want to... Go lightly with it. This isn't, this isn't a bad look. It's just not me. It's just not my type of thing. Personally, this is not my type of eye look because I don't really wear dark makeup. I wear bright makeup. Not like neon, but bright. Like lively. Um, I'm going to take my e.l.f. eyeliner and I'm going to line my upper eye. That's my signature look. I think every, that's everybody's signature look. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow look. Um, I'm not feeling... Maybe it's because of this concealer, but I'll do something about it later, okay? I'll do something about it later, just not right now. But besides the, besides the eyebrows, does it does the look, look, look decent? I think it looks good. Not something I would wear, but it's cute. And so, uh... Let's move on to, oh wait, 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 we gotta do, um, mascara. Prep it for the eyelashes. I'm gonna do, so, don't worry, I'm gonna do something about this under eye. This is why you probably shouldn't use light concealer when you do your brows. I, okay, I learned my lesson. I just didn't want to use my fancy one because it's running out. And I didn't want to have to mess up and think, mm, maybe I should start over. My eyebrows are not feeling it. The look, I'm here for it. Just not something I do every day. This is the primer I used to use by Fenty. I don't know why I haven't thrown it out. Oh, see. You have to hold it up now. See, I never did this. You have to hold it up to the light and see. But it's like, I really like this primer. But See, it does this when it's empty. Nothing comes out. So, I might as well just throw it away. So, until I can afford Fenty. I'm sorry, Ri. I love you, but I mean, I just can't afford you right now. I just made my purchase. And I was so mad. I just bought a bunch of Rihanna from Sephora when I, because I was like, well, there's no sale going on on her website, so let me just buy. But from Sephora, I didn't see any sale going on on her website. On her website, so yeah. Anyway, um, so I just, yeah. Now they're doing like a little sale where, you, well, it's not a sale. It's like a little gift where you buy fifty dollars or something, and then they'll give you a free primer, free foundation, and free concealer. That means I could have got, well, it's like a, it's not, it was free, but it's like a little bitty one, but it's still some. So anyway, I'm using, um, my matte, uh, primer by e.l.f. I just got this maybe a month ago. Um, and it works good. See, I think I have combination skin. So, uh, I don't know what that had anything to do with what I'm saying. But, um, I like my makeup looking matte. Even though I like a highlight, I don't want it to be like, you know, have you seen those Instagram posts where they're like, so 
gooey and dewy. Like, I like the dewy look. I really do. Wait, hold on. I gotta take some of this off my nose. This, 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 this looks crazy. I like the dewy look. But some of y'all on Instagram gotta chill with it. I mean, it looks cute. Don't get me wrong. It, lo it looks adorable. It looks nice. But depends on how you do it to me. But, I mean, at the same time, at the same time, the other part of me is telling you, well, it's just makeup. And, you know, just because it doesn't look good to you, it could look good to somebody else. Okay. So, yeah. I'm trying to get some of this off. God. I should have taken some of this off. This is a bit much. Um, trying to get that off. Okay. So now my face is primed. Um, yeah, so, I like my, my makeup look matte, but I like a highlight. I like a bronze highlight. I don't have one, I have, that's why I had to make one. It says you shouldn't use it for 24 hours, but I'm gonna break the rules and do it anyway. So I'm gonna go in with the matchstick, and I like putting it underneath my eye, right here. Um, I don't know why. Um, but I do. Oh, I didn't tell you what the color of the skin stick was. It was in truffle. And she told me, I already discussed in the last video, so I'm not even going to get into that again. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this out underneath my eye. Like, is this where you're going with a concealer? I think this could be used as a concealer or a foundation, whatever you want it to be. Or a contour. Doesn't really matter. I just like getting that underneath my eye. Because I feel like it's just a, a second concealer. Because I feel like the concealer alone doesn't really bag my eyes up like I want it to. I'm gonna go in with my foundation by Fenty, of course, in the color 470. Um, hmm. Did she? Did she change the bottles? Are the bottles that look? The bottles look different. This is my old one and this is my new one. But this one's more frosty. And this one's more clear. I mean, do you guys see that? Am I tripping? Because this one, look, I thought I was like, oh, looking at this one, like, this is darker than I have. But it's not. It's the same thing. It's just that this bottle is different. It's different. Wow. Okay. She changed it. Okay. They changed the bottles. Just a subtle difference. Okay, so... You want to shake it before using. I'm kind of feeling that eye look. It's just a little too dark for me. Okay. So I'm going to give it a couple pumps. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. And now I'm just going to... I don't... Like I said in my other video, I don't really use a lot of foundation. But now that I'm doing it in my room... Um, I can kind of see a better look. And I kind of changed my technique. So now I like tapping it. And like that. Don't worry, I will fix that inner eyebrow. I will fix it. It will not be that loud. That's why you should just use concealer close to your shade, but I didn't want to waste my concealer. If I'm not, I'm not going anywhere, so this is just for fun. That's why I didn't want to waste it until I can get my hands on another one. So I'm just going to get some foundation here, here. I don't really care for the full coverage, um, especially since I just like, ooh, that looks red. Maybe it's because it's new. Um, my other one's pretty much empty. Okay, so, I know I said I have a different technique and I'm sitting here dragging it, but, trust me, I'm, it's better than last time. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take some and put it on my forehead. It's kinda cool. Ooh. Like, cool as in, like, cold. Um. I don't know why. So I'm gonna put this on my forehead. 
just to cover this stuff up. I'm trying to like block this off. Let me just focus on getting my forehead up. Oh, this will be better. Just to clean up underneath. Just so it's like cleaned. Just dabbing it off on my hand. So it's not so bright, you know what I mean? Because otherwise this is this I mean, I'm not really for the this might be an unpopular opinion. Should I do an unpopular opinions video? You guys don't care about my opinion? <laughs> I don't know. But I personally don't really care for the underbrow highlight. I mean, for some looks it works. But I'm not really for it, to be honest with you. Because I'm just not. Um... That was a lot of foundation. I did not need that much foundation just to do this. I'm not really for... Oh, I just messed up my eyebrow. You know, for real, you could really... If you wanted to do the, the weird eyebrow trend where you split your eyebrow and you didn't want to do it, just get a foundation. I mean, a concealer in your shade and just cut down... Do your eyebrows and just cut down the middle. I'm going to go back in with this eyebrow because I... As you can see, I just like cut my eyebrow off and I'm just gonna blend my eyeshadow in with the foundation right here. Like that. And just kind of go over that. There we go. See, my eyebrows are too skinny. I made it way too skinny. But. I wish it was a bit thicker. Like right here, it could have been thicker. But and they're not even even. Like what the heck is this right here? Hold on, let me. I don't even know, bro. I'm sorry. Like my. They they. I I I mean I I can use some room for improvement. They're not even. But they look. Don't, they don't look decent. But, you know, I'm tr I'm starting out, okay? When we start out, we, we do bad, but it's okay. So now I'm going to go with my concealer in 430. And I'm just going to conceal under my eyes. In my last video, I really cringed editing because I, I did not know how to use concealer. Because that was my first time using concealer. And then I'm just going to go in and conceal. And I also clean up this eyeshadow right here. Now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. And I'm kind of running out of concealer and it makes me sad because I really like the shade. And they had the same one at Colourpop, but uh, I didn't get it. I kind of blinked when I did that. It kind of hurt. Okay. Um, so let me talk about some video ideas I was thinking of. So I, I know I said this already, but I have contacts. I wear contacts. Lately, no, I haven't been wearing them. I just got them in, I started wearing them in April, but then they expired. In the place, I'm going to, still don't have them ready, but I just recently ordered them, ordered some new ones, like a six month supply of them. So I'm currently awaiting. And so I'm excited, very excited. Cause I will do a contact video. Cause if you guys don't know, I have been wearing, Contacts. I mean, I've been wearing glasses pretty much my whole life since I was like in kindergarten, and so I just got to a point where I just stopped wearing them because I didn't enjoy them at all. I did not. I didn't enjoy it. I would just come home and take off my glasses as soon as I got home, and I wouldn't even wear them on a the weekend or when I go out because why? And so when I got contacts, it was like it's a cool feeling. So I will do a contact video once I, my eye contacts come in the mail. Um, so, yeah. So the thing that I don't know about the setting powder 
is, I'm about to get into that, but I read somewhere that you, or something, I don't know what I was watching or reading, but you kind of want it to have like a thick coat of concealer if you want to keep like a bright shade or something. I don't really know. I really don't know what I was reading. Um, like I said, I never used setting powder before, so this is going to be my first time. Just like my eyebrows are kind of, I'm a newbie at that too. Oh, I need to blend my forehead better. I'll get, I'll blend that a bit better. Anyway, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty setting powder in the color coffee. Like that. Okay. I read somewhere that there's something in the box. I'm going to show you guys. It's like a thingy. And you're supposed to, I read this on the Fenty website. That they were like, check the box. Remember to check the box. I'm like, hmm, there's nothing in the box. You're trying to troll me. Okay, so I don't know if you're supposed to take this thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna take that little. So this is what it looks like out, out of the packaging. Uh, am I using this wrong? I don't know what I'm, I don't know what this is, thing is used for. So I'm gonna go on the Fenty Beauty website real quick. Ooh, what song was playing? Oh, I don't really care for this song. Okay, I'm gonna go on the Fenty Beauty website. It's already loaded up on my phone. All I need to do is, um, let's see, a uh, shop face powder. I feel like an idiot for just tipping up. <laughs> Sorry guys, um, I got a call. Okay. Now, that scared me. My, my ringtone is so loud. Yes, my ringtone is a little oozy. Um, I wish it was Juice WRLD. Okay, sorry. Okay. Y'all may not know, but Juice was my favorite rapper. Um, but I really like that oozy song. But, I don't know why I had to share that. Let me just go to, okay. So, I'm on the Fenty Beauty website right now. And I'm gonna read what this thing is for. Because it is... It, it has this little thing over it. Okay, so it says, don't forget to check inside the box for a custom cap. Oh, that plugs your loose powder in place. So it's just a cap. So I, I read on the site you're supposed to swirl it in this, in this powder. And it's in the color coffee. So you're supposed to swirl it like that. It's on my brush, and I heard you need to tap it. I'm trying to do it away from the camera so it doesn't fly off. So, you just tap it on your face. I think this brush is way too big for this. I'm just gonna call it quits there. And then, what I've seen beauty gurus do is put it, I heard people just put it all on their face. Guys, be careful, it's messy. Okay, and I'm just gonna do my forehead. Kind of be careful not to get so much of my eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek. I'm using the lashes uh, by Kiss. They're I think the thing is called natural. So I'm just using some dual glue. Uh, they dry black. These are the lashes. And I like to put a little bit on. I'll set it down somewhere. Um, if you guys want to know how to put on lashes, I can teach you guys. Okay. So anyway. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? So I don't know if I'm supposed to dust this off now. I'm just going to leave it until I'm done with my look. Until I'm going to spray everything on. So anyway, now I'm going to go with my lips. Um, oh, my nose ring's pushed down. I'm not going to... Okay, anyway. So I'm using... I don't really splurge on my lips. That's what I said before in my other video, I think I said that. I don't really splurge on my lips. Um, so I'm using CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. And I don't like matte lipsticks. This is what it looks like. It's. I was trying to get as close to the Kylie one as possible. Oh, I shudder when I say that. <laughs> and then I really, I have to admit, I really like the color Jolly by Kylie. Kylie. And I don't know how much this was. It was. Um, it doesn't say on here. But I got it from CVS. Like I said, I when I now I'm gonna I'm just gonna start buying drugstore uh, lip glosses because I don't feel like I need to splurge on that. So anyway. I'm just gonna go in, and it's really dark on me, and, but me, I'm a person who likes, hold on, I'm sorry, 
I'm a person who likes splurging on lipstick. Or lip gloss. I'm, er, no, sorry, I'm taking that back. I'm a person who likes mixing lip gloss. Sorry, I was multitasking. Um, but no, I don't like splurging on lip, lip products anymore. I had an exception for Kylie and Fenty. If, if I like the color from Fenty, if, the, if Fenty made a color like that Kylie one, I would definitely splurge on it. Even if it was like $18, I would still splurge on it. But I, I, would, I would buy it. Because I'm here to support Ree. I will always support. I heard she's coming out with a new album, but I don't know if it's true. I remember when I was younger, I used to listen to her music a lot. Like Umbrella, Love the Way You Lie, Stay, those are my songs back in the day. And then, guys, you guys have to hear this sample of Rihanna singing uh, Same Old Love. It wasn't really supposed to be her song, but they gave it to Selena Gomez. Or maybe she declined it. Like, maybe Rihanna said she didn't want to do it. But there's, like, a sample floating around. It's only, like, 30 seconds long. Oh, man, I forgot about my eyelashes. Oh, man, it's dry. I forgot about my eyelashes. Whoopsies. Sorry. Um, so I'm going to use my mirror. It's dry. It's definitely dry by now. So, you apply eyelashes. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm sorry if you can't. Ooh. You want to apply the inner, the middle first, the inner, then go toward the outer corner. See, look. Look at the difference between the eye. This one looks so naked, and then this one looks like... Anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to go in with this. And this is my... It's like a metallic... I have an older one. I'm gonna use the older one. I don't like the newer one. The older one, it's, still, it's the same thing. They're not, it's not even the older one. This one has just been open first, that's what I mean. I got them at the same time. I got two. So it's like a metallic red, and I would never wear this. It was a Christmas gift. I would never wear this alone, and I will not wear that matte alone. Because I just don't like, it's, the, the, the metallic one is too metallic to wear on its own. And then, uh, the matte is too matte and it's too dark and I don't like wearing dark lipstick at all but when they're together they're beautiful it's beautiful it's like a match made in heaven whoa um uh I'm gonna pretend y'all didn't see that okay anyway Um, I think I want to film an unpopular opinions video, because that's something I always wanted to do. I think that's what I was talking about before I went off on a tangent. I always wanted to do an unpopular opinions video, but I don't know, because I'm someone... I'm that kind of person, even though I do care what people think, which I need to stop doing, because I care way too much about what people think, and it's not a good thing, it's not a good habit, but I always wanted to, but I'm always that kind of person who has their own opinion, though, even if it's wrong, I still have an opinion, and it's not always, it's, most of my time, my opinion is not the common opinion, alright, so I'm gonna go in with a lip gloss, I've had this for a while, it's called Lip Gel, and it's in the flavor bubblegum. It's just the drugstore one. Like I said, I don't splurge on lip gloss. Unless it's Fenty. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm just getting a little bit. Because this is really thick. I don't even know where I got this. I think, honestly, I, I think I got this from like a beauty supply store. So I'm going to go put in my other lash. Sorry if my, my mirror's in a way. I just don't want to have to do this again. Ooh, I made it too high. I made it, whoa, I made it way too high. So I'm just plugging it in. Plugging it in, no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Yes, because it's, a, it's, it's supposed to be charged. Yes, let's plug in my eyelashes. 
I meant to say put it in. Okay. It's a little bit higher than the other ones, that's okay. And yeah. See, eyelashes, my life with the eyelashes is like my life without pasta. I need to have it. And so anyway, that was really weird. I didn't need to say that. Just gonna close this up this time so it doesn't get chunky again. And now I'm gonna take my brush. And I don't know if this is if this thing bakes. I don't know if it's a bake baking thing. But I'm just gonna dust it off a bit. Because I've seen YouTubers who dust off their things. I don't think it's something you're supposed to dust off. But I will anyway. Okay, so I'm going with my Finny Matte by Wet n Wild. And I don't really care for this this setting spray I really don't because because this thing when you spray it the, the, the thing goes down and it doesn't come up and you're like in the middle of spraying you like you want to have that moment when you spray and then it stops your moment you're like spray 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 and it doesn't spray it's like but it's drugstore now I'm not saying all drugstore is bad I buy from the drugstore sometimes because I don't like splurging on certain things the setting spray is one of them like I said I'm not going somewhere where I'm gonna be out day to night morning to night so I don't really care but I like setting my face because I feel like it melts everything in um so yeah ooh got the fenty face going on okay uh I got a little lip I don't really over I don't overline my lipstick cause, or lip gloss or anything because I don't need that ah I got lip gloss my teeth okay so I'm gonna spray my face I'm gonna set my face I need that moment. Please give me that moment. Mm, see? See what I mean? Mm. I think my favorite one that I used was either the NYX, which is also can be a drugstore, because I see a, I, No, wait, no. It's not a drugstore. Maybe it is. I don't know. But I think I got it at Coles or something and then I also liked the Urban Decay but I never had full size version of either one they were just like they were the size of this and this is like kind of halfway full so I kind of need to go and buy more if I see NYX I'm gonna get the NYX one because I really did like the NYX one I don't even know if I still have it with me I think I threw it this is the Urban Decay I have with me. I don't know why I still have this it's empty there it is this is the Urban Decay one I had and I liked it, but it was a sample size because I had bought so many stuff. I got this when I first got the foundation. Sorry, guys, you probably don't care. Okay, um, so yeah, I like this is going. I like this look. I like it. Now, a look isn't complete without a look is not complete unless you have highlighter. So this is the normal highlighter I use. I this is my only highlighter I use by Fenty Beauty. It's Trophy Wipe the Kilowatt, and this is what it looks like, and I love it. But it's just so gold, and I feel like, because I feel like people are always staring at me, because everybody's are always, like, saying, oh, I like your highlight, but it's, I feel like I'm standing out, and there's times where I want to be, like, subtle, you know what I mean? Subtle, subtle, I, I need to tone it down. So I got the Coco Bling highlighter, and I already swatched it in the beginning of the video, but I'll swatch it again, and I'm not really feeling it. It was free, though, it was free, that's why it's so small, it was free, but you see what I mean, it's like... It's so icy looking. And I don't really need that. And since I'm filming something else after this, I don't want, you know, that to be, like, distracting. But I did make, I know I said this already in the beginning of the video. I'm a broken record sometimes. I made my own highlighter out of eyeshadows that I'm not using anymore. So I'll swatch that again. And you're not supposed to use it after 24 hours. It smells like oh, isopropyl, isopropyl alcohol. So I'll just swatch that next to it. I was going for more of a bronzy look. Sorry, I don't mean to give you guys the finger. That's just the finger I always use for like swatching things. So I'm going to take my highlighter brush. It's the A23 Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm just going to... Please tell me it works though. It might not work because you probably do need to let it dry. Oh, I can see stuff coming off of it. Okay. And it's like a bronzy look. I don't know 
how I feel about that. It's like dull, but it's like the look I'm going for. You know what I mean? So what I might do is like the look I'm. I'm it's the color I want. But the, it's the color I want, but but not. It's not as shiny, you know what I mean? It's not shiny as I want it to be. I'm just gonna put some of my nose. Okay, I'm just gonna have to be stingy with it. Ooh. See, it's the color I, I really want, but it's not the payoff is not what I'm looking for. Like, I need it to be like shimmery. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this cook. Oh my god. God, it's falling everywhere. Yo, don't fall on my camera, please. Don't, don't go on my camera. Oh my God. This is too, oh my God. It's, geez, it's all in my hand, okay. Jesus. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit. Oh my God, camera, you cannot miss this moment. You can't miss this. You can't miss this moment. Okay, so it's gonna go a little bit my nose just to give it that shimmer okay it's just a little bit of my cheeks so it has a highlight to it okay just, oh man that's too much just do it oh my god camera please deal please just five more minutes this one has like a shimmery to it I should mix it together I should add it in, scoop it out and add it in again, and just make this its own highlighter, because I like the shimmer, I like, I like, not the shimmer, but I like, I mean, I do like the shimmer, but, I my nose is too much, I have too much nose highlight, okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my highlight, and, I'm gonna mix that cocoa bling together with this, because I like it, I'm just gonna go in with my forehead highlight, I don't really do, like I said, I don't do forehead highlight, my guy, camera, please. Sorry guys, my camera is acting dumb. I don't really do forehead highlight, but, but, uh, since this is more of a subtle look, cause I couldn't do that with trophy white, that's too, oh man, that's too much. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my, my brush, just blend it out a bit, just a little bit. This is the look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah. Yeah, so you guys finally get to see me do my eyebrows. They don't look that bad. I kind of got over it. I kind of fixed it up and got over it. But it, I don't think they look terrible. They look terrible, but I don't think they look awful that I can't go out like this. Oh, no, wait. No, wait. Sorry. 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 Got the important thing. I always line my under eye. Always. I know it makes your eye look smaller, but I don't care. I really like it. I think the look turned out really pretty. I really like it. Yeah. It's beautiful. I have a mirror standing here. That's why I'm not looking directly at the camera. But now I look directly at the camera. I hope you guys enjoy it, but look at this look. I'm going to have like a little montage of my face. Just that highlight. My highlight. My nose highlight. Ooh. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking popping, bro. Ooh. Yes. I like it. I do. I can confidently say I like my look. The eye may not be for me because it's too dark. But it's cute. It matches the look. It matches my outfit. It's this is kind of a look you want to wear for like prom, graduation. But yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna look at y'all instead of myself in the mirror. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um. Okay. Just making sure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um. If you guys want to see any more makeup looks, let me know down below. I will. There will be, there will be more makeup looks down below. I mean, not down below, but I mean there will be makeup looks in the future. Um. But yeah. Uh. So I don't really know what to name this. I guess 
me the Fenty, just Fenty face. I'm just the name is Fenty face. Yeah, because 90% of what I'm wearing is Fenty. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know my next makeup video. My next video will be a contacts video. And then I'll go to the high school advice video because that was requested. And then I'll do the Sims 3 video because that was requested. So, but I'll be filming these. Um, my, I just found out that my eye contacts are coming in tomorrow. So I will be doing that. I don't know when. I don't know when I'll be doing a video on it. But I will. And I'll tell a story. It's going to be a funny story. So guys, check back at that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was really... I hope you guys got, I learned a little bit about me. hope this video... I hope you guys laughed a little bit at my eyebrows. I'm learning still, guys. I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay? You guys judge me now. Judge me now. Judge me now. Okay? I'll let y'all judge me now. And then you guys are going to see it's going to get better over the next couple weeks months or years or however long it takes me um i'm kind of a fast learner but anyway but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um if you guys want me to show you how to make this highlighter i will because i have friends who want to use highlighter but don't want to splurge up like me they don't want to splurge and you can just use eyeshadow you're not even using anymore to do this please focus okay just three more minutes and um and i can actually do this because i'm gonna use the cocoa bling and just mix it in so yeah Anyway, I'm done. I'm done. Okay? I'm done talking. I'm done talking. For this video, at least. But I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to leave some video suggestions down below. Um, yeah. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And don't forget to keep snapping. Keep chatting. Keep shining. Stay beautiful. Peace. Hey guys, from some girl here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more from me, click to your right. And don't forget to follow my Instagram at forever underscore simgirl. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See ya.